When talking about electric vehicles, one name comes to mind – Tesla. The US-based company is arguably the biggest EV brand in the world, but this position is increasingly under threat. In the fourth quarter of 2023, Tesla said it delivered over 484,000 electric vehicles. Although this number represented a record for the company, another EV maker had an even better quarter. BYD, a Chinese-based EV manufacturer, delivered over 526,000 EVs over the same time period, taking Tesla's crown as the biggest brand in this market. Although quarter 1 2024 results show that Tesla has reclaimed this title, Tesla delivered 386,000 EVs, whereas BYD delivered 300,000. No one can deny BYD's astonishing rise to the top. In fact, even Elon Musk has acknowledged BYD as one of the biggest threats to Tesla. But BYD's journey was not easy. The company started as a battery manufacturer and entered the car market in 2003, initially making gas-powered vehicles. It unveiled its fully electric car in 2010, but these cars failed to help the company gain traction. The cars were not optimized for performance and generally did not look appealing, which is why BYD saw little to no growth during the 2010s. Seeing this little growth, BYD implemented a new strategy in 2016. They began hiring international, mostly German, designers and engineers who had worked with German car brands to design its new fleet of vehicles. And in 2019, BYD unveiled two new cars, the Tang and the Han. These were sleek-looking cars with impressive performance, and this marked a turning point for the company. As this chart shows, BYD has experienced massive growth since 2020, the year it began selling its new cars. Since then, the company has sold over 3.2 million EVs. For comparison, Tesla has delivered over 4.9 million EVs in the same time frame. This astonishing growth is why BYD now controls approximately 16.5% of the EV market, second to only Tesla's 19.1% market share. But what really is behind BYD's rise to the top? This is the astonishing rise of BYD. Price has been the main factor driving BYD's growth. Elon Musk's vision with Tesla revolved around the idea that you had to convert high-end users into EV buyers first. This is why the company focused on making good-looking cars with great performance. The idea was that these cars would make EVs look sexier and thus drive adaptation. BYD, on the other hand, took a very different approach. They wanted to ensure they could make viable, cheap EVs at a massive scale, which is why the company initially focused on building electric buses and vehicles to be used for taxis. The idea was that this approach would allow BYD to drive down the price of batteries, which would then allow them to focus on making cars for the general public. And this strategy seemed to have worked. The average BYD car sells for approximately $22,400, whereas the average Tesla sells for around $45,000, more than double. In fact, BYD's focus on price is very apparent when we look at its car lineup. The company currently sells 10 popular models, starting at less than Tesla's cheapest offering for the Model 3. The secret to these prices lies in what is known as vertical integration. Vertical integration basically means that they make a lot of the things that go into their vehicles themselves. Car makers usually buy most components from outside suppliers such as Bosch, Continental and Aptiv. But BYD makes most of these components itself. Electric motors, power components, semiconductors, chassis and body components and software are some of the components BYD makes by itself. But perhaps the most important component is the battery. Batteries are often some of the most expensive parts that go into an EV, therefore it is crucial for an EV company to control the battery price as much as possible. BYD is the only automaker that produces all of its batteries in-house. They are one of the top companies in the world building lithium-ion phosphate batteries in particular. These batteries cost about 30-40% to 40 less per kilowatt-hour to manufacture, and LFP batteries are also extremely durable and last a long time. As a leader in battery technology, BYD actually supplies batteries to other car makers like Tesla, Toyota and Kia. In 2020, BYD launched the Blade, a lithium-ion phosphate battery that the company touted as a breakthrough in high energy density with high levels of safety. 
By many accounts, BYD's Blade battery is currently the best in class globally. They've maximized the energy density, which is attractive to everyone in the industry. BYD's focus on vertical integration is perhaps best emphasized with the following information. Volkswagen only makes 35% of the parts in its ID3 electric car. Tesla, meanwhile, makes 68% of the parts that go into its Model 3 made in the US. But BYD makes 75% of the parts that go into the SEAL, its flagship model. Additionally, the company's strategy to control as much of its value chain as possible is also evident in the fact that it purchased its own cargo ships designed to transport its cars from China to Europe. BYD estimated that external transportation services will not be able to meet the growing global demand for EVs. Therefore, the company plans to create a fleet of eight car carriers, which will help ease the shortage of shipping capacity for automobile exports and drastically reduce transportation costs. The question for BYD now is whether it can become one of the world's biggest car makers, and that means expanding outside of China. In 2021, BYD started to step up its global expansion. It launched more passenger vehicles across the global markets, including the Middle East, Southeast Asia, and Europe. In three years, it has become one of the top-selling EV brands in markets such as Thailand, Brazil, and Australia. Chinese companies are also exporting more of their EVs into Europe. Because those cars are produced in China, the production costs are pretty low. This allows the automakers to set their prices in Europe cheaper than their European counterparts, which has been very alarming to the European auto industry. However, regulatory uncertainty is BYD's main challenge to global expansion, especially expansion in Europe and the USA. The European Union is now investigating whether cheap Chinese EVs are hurting European competition, which might lead to import tariffs. Whereas the USA has already implemented a 25% tariff on Chinese EVs, which has made it difficult for BYD to export its products here. One way around that will be to move part of production outside of China. BYD has already unveiled plans for new factories and manufacturing plants in Hungary, Mexico and Brazil. These new factories will help BYD circumvent current legislation that makes it difficult and more expensive for the company to gain a market share in these massive EV markets.